Conclusion to one of the most exciting episodes of Dread Zone I have ever seen. Captain Starshield, the number one ranked gladiator, has been terminated by Ace Hardlight. Ace has now eliminated a record 13 contestants in the regular season. <laughs> Incoming call from the mayor of Metropolis. The <clears throat> new mayor of Metropolis. Oh, you mean, right. <laughs> uh, just a sec. Uh, greetings, mayor. I, no, no, no. Um, well, long time no see. Uh, no. Uh, so Metropolis still in one piece, huh? <laughs> I, uh... Greetings, Captain. I see you're taking good care of my old ship. Well. She need a lot of tuning up, but I've kept her running. <laughs> of course. <laughs> anyway, I'm afraid I bring bad news. As you know, Captain Starshield disappeared over a month ago. I've just been informed that he's been killed. Oh my gosh. No. Oh, what happened? Apparently he was involved with some kind of illegal combat sport. Something called Dread Zone. We believe it was being run by this man, Gleeman Vox. He operates an underground media empire from within the Shadow Sector. The Shadow Sector? It's a lawless region of space on the fringe of the galaxy. Many other heroes have disappeared recently, and we fear that they might have met with the same fate. Ratchet, I just wanted to warn you before... Unidentified craft approaching. Uh-oh. Lombax known as Ratchet. Um, I don't suppose you guys are here to fix the starboard engine, huh? and see if you can get some work out of them first. Hello? Hello in there? Can you hear me? You've been unconscious for hours. You're probably a little disoriented. Uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Whoops, it uh, looks like we've got a feedback loop in the visual matrix processor. Hold still a second. How's that? Okay, now to activate your speech function. Me out of this thing, you blarg-headed frack monkey! I can barely breathe and my tail feels like it's shoved right up my... I, 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 there seems to be a problem with the speech circuitry. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take a look at it later. Now hold still. Let's just see if I wired that teleportation circuitry right. The new armor you're wearing is standard issue for new contestants. Contestants? We will explain later. If you do not complete the qualification course in the allotted time, we will all be terminated. We must calibrate your battle suit's targeting matrix. First, look over at the hollow target on your left. Turn to face the hollow target on the right, then fire. Good. 
Now shoot the hollow target above you. All right, Ratchet. Your movement circuit should be in working order now. Try getting to the top of that ledge. I am transmitting a digital minimap representation of the area. Can you see it? The minimap will show you the positions of nearby enemies. I am reading three more hollow targets in your vicinity. Good, Ratchet. There should be a teleporter nearby that will take you to the next stage of the qualification course. Greetings, hero, and welcome to Dread Zone. Rest assured, you are now far beyond the reach of hope. There will be no rescues, no pardons, no possibility of escape. You are now a contestant on the greatest television program that Galaxy has ever known. A celebrity gladiator battling for the pleasure of a billion screaming fans across the Shadow Sector and beyond. Chances are you'll be dead by tomorrow. But those of you who play the game with skill and strategy will earn a chance to win your freedom. So, good luck, hero. We'll be watching you. <laughs> Ratchet, I have figured out a way to get information to you without Vox knowing. Pay attention to secret messages at the bottom of your screen. At the top of your screen is the experience bar. As you destroy enemies, you gain experience. When the bar is full, you will gain a level, and your nanotech will increase. Hold R2 or triangle, and use the left analog stick to select any weapon. Tap R2 to switch between recently used weapons. Note the deadlock collar securely fastened around your neck. This collar cannot be broken or removed. Should you stray into any restricted area, the collar will administer an extremely painful shock. Observe. I hate this job. Should a contestant become uncooperative, or worse, boring, his or her collar can be detonated at any time with the push of a button. Well, there you have it. Nothing to lose your head over, <laughs> right? Congratulations, Ratchet. You made it through the qualification course. Check your map. There should be a teleporter nearby. Use the teleporter to meet me back at our Dread Zone containment area. This place is crazy. I've always wondered what it'd be like to be a professional gladiator. I mean, these guys have the life, the fame, the money, the babes. Try not to forget that we are being held prisoner by a criminal organization. This is no time for fantasizing. Welcome, hero, to your new living quarters. Your luxury containment suite is equipped with everything you will need as a contestant on Dread Zone. Please, make yourself comfortable. You'll most likely be spending the rest of your life here. Ratchet, you should go find Al. I have marked his location on your map. I think he has something to show you. Hey, Al. Oh. Hey, Ratchet. I have something to show you. Meet your new battle bots. Call me Merc. This here's Green. Uh, hi, sir. I got them off a former contestant who, um, won't be needing them anymore. Don't worry, boss. You won't end up like that last guy. I hope not. I still have nightmares about it. Oh, suck it up, Green. Once you win a few battles, we can afford to upgrade them. Just come and see me whenever you want to juice them up. You ever been in country? You know, seen combat? 
Me? Yeah, before I came here, I saw a little action. Hey, nice digs. Um, digs? I mean, what's all the hardware for? Ah, they call this the mission control room. Each contestant is assigned a mission engineer to monitor their progress. Right. So, what's-his-face figured he'd save a few bolts and make you do it. Ahem. All right, fresh meat. Enough chit-chat. You're next up in the Battle Dome, after Mobius, man. And from the way he's fighting, it won't be much longer. Now move it! Ratchet, I will assist you any way I can. Thanks, Clank. These guys obviously don't know who they're messing with. Attention, hero. Report to the Battle Dome Transport Shuttle immediately. Greetings, hero or heroine. We thank you for choosing Pox Airways for your traveling needs. We do hope you have a pleasant flight. Sit back, relax, and enjoy our in-flight entertainment, courtesy of the Pox Network. Something you should know. I'm not a real tyrannoid. <laughs> Will you lose your lunch if you have to watch one more reality dating show? Is your blog's gone wild video scratched from overuse? Then it's time to turn that dial to something a little more dangerous. Time for some real action. It's time to blow up! That's right! It's time for Dread Zone! The galaxy's number one uncensored, unethical, and completely underground combat sport! Blasting straight at you, live from the Battle Dome! And now, on pay-per-view, watch as Ratchet and Clank take on Ace Hardlight and the Exterminators! They save the galaxy three times over, but how long can they survive in the zone? Catch it live, right here, on Box. Oh, and that is it for Mobius Man, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Eviscerator's fourth victim already this season. Next up, we have, uh, let me see here, Ratchet? Yeah, I never heard of him. Well, he's probably just intermission material, folks, but don't worry. We have Grey, Thunder, and Hydro Girl coming up later, so stay tuned to Dread Zone. Well, here he is. <laughs> he's a little guy, isn't he? Well, don't bother getting up for drinks, folks. This guy won't last two rounds. We'll see. Dread Zone fans, this is it. Let's introduce our first contestant. He's a Lombax. He spent time in prison. He hates candy and children. Let's hear it for Ratchet and Team Darkstar. Uh-oh. I guess I didn't calibrate that bot correctly. Go ahead and press the down directional button to initiate the auto repair sequence. You can do this anytime a bot becomes too damaged to continue. You can press the down directional button at any time to make your bots regroup to your position.
Red Zone challenges sometimes use bolt cranks to activate devices or lower force fields. But be careful. Remember to use your... My scanners show an extremely deadly 70 millimeter stalker turret ahead of you. You need to get behind cover immediately. The shields on that turret are impenetrable. You will have to use an EMP to take them down. Command your bot to toss out an EMP by pressing the left directional button. Excellent work, Ratchet. Now that you have survived the qualification course, you will be allowed to join us back at our containment area. Let's keep this quick, Box. Oh, well, far be it for me to keep the Superstar Exterminator from his busy social schedule. <laughs> I just have one question for you. Okay, shoot. Would you like to buy an Ace Hard Light video game? How about an Ace Hard Light lunchbox? Action figures, movie rights, collectible trading cards? Ace Hard Light is the perfectly manufactured celebrity, straight from the presses of the entire Pox Media Empire. So tell me. Why is it that I can't give this stuff away? Well, uh... Don't answer that. Let me take a wild guess. It's because my fans can't stand Ace Hardlight! He's a pompous with the charisma of bloggy and Nazis! So, what are you saying, exactly? Zip it, Wonder Boy! The little billies and Susies of the world are spending a trillion volts a day on worthless swag, and I'm completely cut out of the market! Either you start selling this junk, or I'll find someone who will! Now get out of my sight! This is the Interplanetary Transport. It will take you to Dread Zone battle courses on other planets. It travels on a planned course. This is the weapon screen. Here, you can select any weapon you own and modify it. To modify a weapon, select the weapon you want and press X. Any tampering with the nav computer causes the ship to explode. spring day on Catacrom 4 Juanita as we kick off a brand new season of Dread Zone. That's right, Dallas, and we're lucky enough to have a bird's eye view of the action. Even from up here, this season's Dread Zone battle courses look bigger and deadlier than ever. It's a wonder contestants keep volunteering, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Pox construction team really outdid themselves in turning this once sacred robotic burial ground into a deadly Dread Zone battle course. And look, here comes today's first contestant. Oh, my. They're really scraping the bottom of the barrel to find these guys, aren't they? I hope you folks at home aren't too squeamish, because the next one looks like a bleeder. Right. 
its first objective is, uh, Gimme Juanita. All he has to do is make his way to the other side of this mountain pass. The shields on that turret are impenetrable. You will have to use an EMP. To take them down. Command your bot to toss out an EMP by pressing the left directional button. One of your combat bots is incapacitated. Use the revive command to bring him back to life. Just a reminder, tomorrow is kick your best friend in the pants day. Free popcorn for everyone who participates. Defeating enemies automatically upgrades your threshold weaponry and improves your maximum nanotech level. We deploy the EMP on that. Team Dark Star continues toward the Catacrom Burial Dome, they'll need to cross what I like to call the chasm of endless falling and eventual dying. In the unlikely event that they survive, they'll take control of the big, bad, and burly walking armored tank called the Landstalker. Good luck, kids. Ratchet, you will have to capture all three nodes to extend the bridge. Walking on top of a giant robot burial ground! Hey, Ratchet! I... Wondered what's in the special sauce? from in here. Ratchet, according to Treadzone show requirements, enemies appear red on the radar. Allies appear green. Challenge objectives appear blue.
expand your map at any time to get a better view of the area. and carry you across the gap. What do you know, folks? Ratchet has found the Landstalker! All-terrain mech of destruction comes fully loaded with power steering, AC, jumbo-sized drink holders, and enough plasma mortars to take out a small star system. Team Dark Star's not out for a Sunday drive today, folks. They'll be blazing a trail right into the center of the Catacrom Burial Dome. Ratchet, you will have to use the Landstalker's mortars to destroy those Quasar orbs. That should clear the way. this carnage, folks. But it's time for the final showdown in the Catacrom Burial Dome. There's no telling what lurks inside these walls. Ratchet, you must defeat all your opponents in order to complete this challenge. In other words, stay alive. They're coming up from the ground!
tip was a tough cookie. What kind of cookie would he be? I'm gonna go with Snickerdoodle. Fox has designed his weapons to gain experience as you use them, which allows them to be upgraded. Upgraded weapons not only do more damage, but can be modified. Not bad, but Ace Hardlight would have done it better. Hey Green, that zombie looks like your mom. Excellent work, Ratchet. I must admit, I was worried.